Hey guys, Chad here with Carolina Laser Works. Uh, today I'm gonna to be talking about the S197 clutch assist spring. I ordered the Steta spring and have already replaced it. This is the OEM, but I wanna show you how to change a spring as a one-man job rather than a two. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna take the one I've got in out, but I will show you how to make it a little easier. You need three zip ties, a set of small cutters. These are Harbor Freight cutters. I think they're $2 and you still need your needle nose uh, vice grips. So I'll use this as an example and show you how with the stock spring, but it works the same with the, with the new Steta spring. You lock it down like you normally would. I run a zip tie through. This is a 200 pound spring too, so. Mind you, it's going to be a little more difficult than the replacement 90-pound spring from Cena. But just thread your zip tie through three rungs on this spring. And I release, I will get it fairly tight on it. Release the, the vice grips, press down on the spring, and compress. You do that with the other side too. Make sure you get all three. And I'm sorry about the quality of the video. I'm sweaty and I've got my phone set up here. So I'm just recording this really quick to show people just to make it a little easier. So the opposite side of the other zip tie and be mindful because that, it is a tight spring there. So same thing. Slack. Compress that like that. Now you will have your white piece and your black piece. Your white piece goes on the bottom of the clutch quadrant. The black piece goes on top. The easy way to do that is set them on, line them up the way they would be in the car with the pin going this way and the hole for the, the mount going that way. Put this other zip tie around it and you work the zip tie tight, compress it even more. That way, when you get up under the dash, you have it all together. You would have the piece. You could easily mash the clutch one-handed, put this in its place, rotate it up, set it into place. And when you're done, you reach up and cut the, spring, or cut the zip ties and the spring extends and goes into place. It's easy. I know this wasn't a complete tutorial because I do not have the, the piece out again, but I just wanted to show you. You get the gist of it. You uh, understand what to do. So I just thought this would make it a lot easier. It did for me. Thank you guys. 